welcome to 4realbaseball.com. That's 4realbaseball.com. My name is Coach Tom Gargiulo. Today we're going to be talking to you about batting. Okay, so now we've got a nice grip. We've talked about what we want to do with our hands, getting the bat out in the fingers. Now we're going to move down below to our feet. Our feet are going to be uh, stepping into the box with our back foot first. We're going to establish ourselves in the box, making sure the umpire and the catcher and the coach who's calling those pitches knows that we know where we're standing in that box in relationship to home plate. So we get our back foot in, we make sure when we're ready, then we step in. Don't step in unless you're ready. We don't want to get a quick pitch. So you step in back foot first. You're going to make sure you can get yourself to the outside part of the plate because you're going to have to hit those balls that look like strikes or the ones that look like balls. We're going to have to make sure we can get to those pitches and cover our plate. So plate coverage is important. Again, we're going to step in with our back foot first, making sure we got a nice loose grip as we step in. You want to make sure you can get to the outside part of the plate, and then you're going to get your bat down here. Uh, we'd like to also make sure our feet are wider than our hips. We're in a nice athletic power stance. We're not too wide. We're not inside our hips. We want to make sure we're in a comfortable, athletic power stance. We like to call this an A stance. Anyone's coaching the youngsters, an A stance looks like a capital letter A. Okay, so we get our grip, our stance, and now we're ready to put our bat into a resting position on our shoulder. So when the bat is resting, that means the pitcher's not even going to be ready to throw the pitch in. When the pitcher gets on the rubber, we go from a resting position to a ready position. We make sure our hands are coming up at the same angle. The bat doesn't change angles. We're not going to pick it up and wrap the bat around our head. We're not going to lay the bat down. We want to have a nice 45 degree angle here. And from resting, we go to ready. When we're ready, we're one step ahead of the pitcher, and that pitcher gets to his release point, and he's about to release that ball. We want to get to a loaded position. And that's going to be the three S's. That's a short, soft stride. We want to have a couple, two, three inch stride, just something to get our hands going. It's a timing mechanism for our hands. We're going to push our hands maybe back slightly and have our hands in a position where we can attack from the top of the strike zone, down through, and get behind that ball so it's a down and through. We want to bring our, our bat down with the handle first, our hands close to our body, no arms extending, like when you take, some coaches will call this casting. When you cast a fishing pole, you're taking that energy and releasing that energy. You want to keep that energy, that flexed arm, you want to keep that as long as possible until you're going to get to that point where you're going to pull the trigger and deliver an extended arm on the ball. That's where you're going to create good bat speed. Get the head of this bat moving through that ball as fast as possible. Geometry plays a big part in it too. When we get in our stance and we step in that box and we want to get our feet in alignment, we don't want our feet to have an open stance or a closed stance. We want to make sure we have a balanced stance. So our toes, it's called toe to toe to your target. Your target being the pitcher throwing that pitch. So we draw a geometrical line from our toe to our toe our target with a straight line. And this way we have an easier chance to hit the inside pitch, an equal chance to hit the outside pitch, and we're not going to have ourselves closed where it's tough to get to the inside pitch and clear our hips, or where we have an open stance and we allow that pitcher to work on the outside part of the play where we can't get to that pitch. So again, we step in, a nice loose grip, right foot first, the back foot first, left foot second, making sure we can get to the outside part of the plate. We get ourselves in a relaxed position and a ready, excuse me, resting position. From resting, we go to ready. From ready, we go to the loaded position. The three S's again, and a short, soft stride. After your short, soft stride, you're going to pull the knob of that bat, keep the bat head high, attack the ball from top to bottom, and get behind that ball so it's at down and through and then we finish up top. So we say to our players, high, low, high. We start up high, we come down low, we get through the ball, that power V, our arms form that power V, and then we're going to finish up high. 